A consistent bright spot in the jobs market has been health care. Another 24,000 jobs created there last month. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, more than 738,000 health care jobs have been created since the recession began in 2007. You okay? <laughs> Tanique Burns enjoys her job. Relax your hand for me. Drawing blood for a Boston area blood bank. But over the past couple of years, she's watched her hours shrink. Seven or eight hour blood drives now last just five. I've always been told that as long as you have a job in health care, you pretty much set. Is this thinking going So Tanique, a mother of five, is pursuing a more secure career in nursing. She goes to class at night and works during the day. I don't consider myself to be a risk taker, but I guess on some level this is. A risk that will likely pay off. The population is aging, and an estimated 50 million Americans enter the health care system when reform kicks in in 2014. They're going to need hospitals and doctors and nurses to take care of them. Demand for health care services equals demand for good jobs. Where are the jobs in health care? It's not just nursing. It's, it's all up and down the spectrum. It's up healthcare. and down the spectrum. It's a big field. Uh, any any healthcare profession is a big field, and you have all levels of people within there. And the jobs, quite frankly, are going to be found in all those levels. There's already a shortage of healthcare IT professionals, medical coders, and medical assistants. The government estimates hundreds of thousands of home health aides and personal aides will be needed over the next decade. Often those jobs come with on-the-job training, but low pay. Median wages for registered nurses, however, is $66,530. Love was the bridge that Tanique Burns is hopeful. There will be student loans to pay off, but she's confident she's made the right choice. I always told my children, you need to go to school, get an education, but I felt like if I haven't gone to college, how can I expect them to do it? How can I expect them to do something I haven't done myself? Okay. Of course, going to school isn't an option for everyone. The Labor Department expects an explosion of 900,000 new jobs for those home health care and personal care aides by the year 2018. No medical experience or education is necessary, but be warned, those jobs often start at a low salary and don't leave much room for advancement. If you're retraining for a job in health care, make sure it's a ladder position with some upward mobility like nursing. Millions of low-paying jobs in health care are being created, but many offer few opportunities for promotions and meaningful pay increases. Choose wisely. For CNN Money, I'm Christine Romans.